So I just finished making this uh, jam-tastic raspberry jam with just a touch of rhubarb, and now it's time to can it. Why can jam instead of just throwing it straight in the refrigerator? If you put it in a jar and you go through like the water bath canning process to actually seal it, then we're talking about changing the shelf life on this from a few months in your refrigerator to a few, uh, a few years on your shelf. When we're talking about jellies and jams, things that are really um, high in sugar content and high in acid, then the water bath method is totally safe. Step one is just sanitizing your jars. So I'm boiling all my jars, and then after these are nice and hot, then I've got my towel laid out over here so I can put all the jars, lay them all out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer my jars from the sanitizing station, which all this is is just, it's hot water, um, and transfer them over to my fill station, which is on my towel. Now I have a little funnel that's exactly the size of my jar. It fits into the standard mouth jar or a wide mouth jar. Because if the top of your jar is completely coated in food, um, the chances are lower that it'll seal properly. And you do want to leave about an inch of headspace in here. Um, headspace meaning the space at the top of the jar. So from um, the very bottom of the lip, at the top of the lip to the top of the food line. That's your head spades. I ended up filling up six of these short, um, I think they're eight ounce jars, and then three of the small ones, and an extra um, one and a half um, of the, the taller eight ounce jelly jars. So these two jars weren't sanitized, so I'm just gonna put those in the fridge, which is fine because I wanna munch on some of this jam anyway. You'll notice there's some writing on the top of my lids. These are all fresh lids that have never been actually processed before. I have used them to store dry goods, but they've never actually been through the processing process before. Really, lids are only good for one-time processing. You wanna use a, a lid that sealing agent has never been used before. Now let me go through and add the rings. All my lids are on and all my rings are on. So now I'm gonna use this convenient little tool to move all of the hot jars. So we're just moving all the jars into what is called the water bath. This is called the water bath method of canning. When you're doing the water bath method, you need to make sure that you've got about an inch or two of water that's going over the top of your jars. So I'm gonna add maybe a half inch more water on here. Now that we've reached this rolling boil, I went ahead and set a timer for 20 minutes. Timer just went off, so I'm gonna move our jars over to the towel where they will cool. If we're lucky, we'll be able to hear some pops as the lids seal. You hear that one? There was another one. There we go. Hey, Hope. Hi. Once they're completely cool, you can go through. Oh, there's another one. You can go through and um, check the seals and any of them that didn't seal properly, you just put those in the refrigerator and eat those first. As long as all of your seals have um, properly taken, these jars are good to sit on your shelf indefinitely. So pat yourself on the back for making something that's now shelf stable. Woohoo! Thanks for watching.